Today marks 131 days since I began the carnivore lifestyle, and I wanted to talk about some of the things that I have noticed that were big changes. Uh, I am getting into that phase right now. I'm into, what, the fourth month, uh, a little past that. I want to talk about what I've noticed significantly and what things are still changing because I'm in that phase where, you know, your body's still making changes, making adjustments. Uh, it's part of it. And, you know, you may not see a lot of results the first month, maybe even the first two months. Everybody's different. It depends on your discipline, how well you are, you know, are you cheating? Are you cracking open a can of corn to eat with your meat? If so, if you're doing things like that, well, you're not going to have the same results as somebody that isn't doing that. And some of the bigger things I've noticed here lately, they're, they're still coming. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't cease to amaze me. Uh, they they still keep coming. And one thing I do notice, I noticed this yesterday. Okay. When I was driving, there are certain parts of our roads where you have to turn your head and I got used, I got into the habit of, of stopping way short of where I had to make my right turn or left turn. So I could see a, a broader range of, of is there traffic coming? Uh, because I couldn't turn my neck, you know, this is how I had to do. Does that look familiar? You know, had to do that. Now, I just noticed this yesterday. I can, because my neck isn't so fat anymore. I guess that's it. And maybe it's healed up all the junk that was going on in my neck. You know, it's still an old neck. But look at there. You know, I can turn with, you know, I can turn my head with ease and it's not hurting anymore. And I can pull all the way up. Hey, there's no cars coming. I can go. That is one thing I noticed. Uh, of course, I've mentioned before, putting my sh uh, socks and shoes on, that comes with losing the weight. You ain't got the big belly in the way anymore. And you're a little more limber. Uh, you're able to reach places you couldn't reach before in every aspect. So that helps tremendously. I used to dread putting on socks. I got up so much. I got up, you know, my weight was at a point at one time that, you know, especially if your back is hurting at the same time or your back's out, putting socks on, you know, you just go without them because it's just too hard. And now I can just, it's, you know, it's things we take for granted when we're, that we could do when we were younger uh, that we could no longer do. And a lot of that is because of diet and weight that we can't do it. It isn't because of your age. It's because your weight, you know, it's like if you got a big balloon blown up, okay, and you got something here, but you got to reach over the balloon, you're going to struggle to get that. You know, if I had a big balloon right here in front of my coffee, instead of reaching to get my coffee, I would have to go up and over and, you know, the same way. So 131 days into that, into the lifestyle, um, and, and I, I spoke about discipline. You have to have some sort of self-discipline. Uh, I find that not, you know, and I do have those things in my house. I have a whole entire shelf full of corn, full of pasta, full of tomato sauce, uh, green beans, spinach. I've got all that. And I did bust into the spinach once and didn't really have any effects. But I said, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. And I'm not going to cheat because when you cheat once with something like that, that leads to cheating more. Well, look at that ice cream, man. Look at that ice cream. One little quart of that isn't going to hurt me. Yes, it is because your body, you know, it may not put a ton of pounds on you. But your body is used to functioning without the sugar. 
without the carbs. And when you, when you, all of a sudden you slam some carbs into your body, it doesn't know how to process that right away. And you just don't want to do that. Now, if you're using carnivore as an elimination uh, diet and you plan to go back to those things later, well, you know, just stick with the program until you get there and then ease, you know, ease those things back in. I do plan to eat Mexican food and things like that again, but I think I'm going to stick with the, with the most part of this. And I'm only going to do that maybe once a, I, once a week. I'll eat something, you know, I don't know if I'm going back to pasta. And if I do, the portion will be very small. But you just get used to eating a certain way. And you don't, I don't know, I, I just don't crave that stuff anymore. At all. I, I, you may be different, but I am not craving those things. Yeah, I wouldn't mind eating a little ice cream now and then, but I can live without it. It's like alcohol. I gave that up as well. And, you know, going to Fort Smith for me, that was when you got the booze because you don't have anything here to Dry County. Now I just drive by those liquor stores. I don't even think about it. Uh, I enjoy being sober a lot more than when I drink on the weekends. Um, it's just a lot more enjoyable waking up feeling great, ready to go. And you have a new sense of energy. And I think the carnivore lifestyle has really helped with that as well. I mean, that's probably the most part of it. Uh, but I just don't miss those things. And, and it takes time to let the new life enter your system. But once it does, you, you're, you're going to be telling yourself, why have I not done this a long time ago? Had I known it felt this good, I would have done that. And, you know, there's no sense in beating yourself up about the past. You can't, we don't have time machines yet. I think they have them. Uh, that's what UFOs are, you know, when you see UFOs. That's people from the future coming back to look at us. That's what they're doing. People from them past. Ain't no fat people in the future. That's right. They figured it out. But we've figured it out. But people are stubborn. People like to do what other people are doing. Not me. I, I don't like if if a certain style, style of pants are in and everybody's wearing them, guess what? I ain't wearing them just because everybody's wearing them. I do not like trends. I don't, you know. But I wanted to get healthy again. And this, this is the one way that I could do that. And it is working. Nothing else has ever worked. And I'm sure the other diets work, but there's so much work, man. I don't want to go through all that. Nobody does. This way, I just eat meat. Pretty simple. I'm going to go in here when I'm done. I'm going to fry up some bacon. I'm going to fry up some eggs. I think I got a leftover turkey burger. I'm going to, I'm going to heat that up and I'll put the fried eggs over it. We'll, we'll go ahead and do some bacon anyway, because turkey doesn't have much fat in it. You want fat. Ah, uh, what else? Another thing I noticed toenails. You see a lot of older people, if they're wearing sandals, they got these nasty yellowed up looking toenails. And I had some of those, my big toe looked like that. And the one next to it, now, they have cleared up. They look completely normal. Man, my feet look good. And that's a good thing because I got to go to the foot doctor next week. And I can pull my socks off and go, look at them suckers, huh? And I can reach to trim them. Yeah, I don't have to be a contortionist to cut my toenails. So for the first time in years, my toenails look good. And your fingernails and your toenails uh, the chemistry in your body, when they start getting discolored, there, there are a lot of signs that there is something wrong in your body by looking at your toenails or your fingernails. Uh, you research it. And it, it must be true. You know, I think diet, your toenails are, you know, I guess, I guess your body knows, hey, man, you got to look at these feet at least once a day. Let's give him, give him a warning. And to make it the ugliest color and, and dried up and nasty looking feet that you could get. And you're not getting it. So 
So that's one thing I did notice that that has cleared up and that that has to be related to the diet because that has been my toenails have been yellowed like that for years and they're nasty you know how are you going to go to beach with nasty looking fungus looking toenails you ain't going to do it or if you do you're grossing people out you know ain't nobody wants to see that nobody wants to see a nasty toenail i don't want to see a nasty toenail how we get on toenails let's get off toenails what's uh, procrastination that was something i really had to struggle with over the years uh there was things i knew i had to do you guys have seen it in my videos i'll start something and then i don't finish it because i procrastinate too much that's going away uh, i wake up now in the mornings wanting to get it done do it and i'm doing it my shop you know this thing sat here since october of last year and for five six months i did nothing in here i i as soon as i got it i insulated it i did that but then i started piling crap in here and it became a storage building and within the span of a month i got in here i finished the shop i got the podcast area set up and i'm ready to move on to do something else and i will be moving on um uh, many projects i have that that aren't going to require a lot of money that i already probably have the materials for and there's no reason i shouldn't do that and now i have the energy to do it and you know that is something i've noticed that i'm that i got more get more get up and go in me and that has to be from that because that started about a month after i was into the carnivore lifestyle i started getting more motivated uh, the pro procrastination went away. I just want to get things done and enjoy my life. You know, I don't want to work on this place the rest of my life and then die and somebody else get it and tear it down and build something else. I don't want to do that. I want to get it done and enjoy it. You know, how many good years do I have left? I don't know, but I want to enjoy the ones I do. And so that was a big one when you can get your gumption back that's very important and it's amazing that you got the energy because you would think you're not eating vegetables you're not eating sugar that sugar gives us energy that's something we've always been taught which is bunk it's not sugar that gives you energy it's good food and and the nice thing is you can you can eat a big portion if you want now i have noticed my portion size have, has really went down. The more I get into this, the more, when I first started, I was eating big old steak and then I'd eat another meat with it, make two hamburger patties with the steak. Now I can't eat that much. Uh, I, I'm lucky to eat a steak and a whole hamburger patty. Sometimes I don't even get through it. So 131 days, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm doing, you know, I got maybe 30 more pounds to lose. And now I am going into the workout stage where I'm going to start working out. I, I purposely have not been doing that today. I'm going out there. I've got a exercise bike with the screen and all that computerized stuff that I'm putting together today. I'll be doing a review on that and we're going to start using that. That's going to kind of eliminate the need for that treadmill. I may still do the treadmill and then I got my weight machine and I think that's all I'm going to need. You know, I am an older person, so I don't want to, yeah, I know I'm not going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course, look at him now, you know, but he still works out. Him and, you know, Sylvester Stallone, they're in their almost 80. I think they're 78, something like that. 80 might even be 80, but you can still work out until you're 80, but they got a lot <laughs> A lot bigger head start than me. All right. Well, this is going a little long. I just wanted to tell you some of the things that I've noticed. And, you know, it's just great. And if you're considering doing, just try it. Try it for 30 days. What's it going to hurt? It ain't going to kill you. It will only improve something on you. So why not try it for 30 days? That's why I'm on here. You know, I don't have to tell anybody what I'm doing. 
but I would not tell people about this if I knew that it wasn't life changing and it is life changing. And I'm also filming myself as I'm doing it. So people can, you can go back, go back six months on this channel, do it on the other channel. Look at some of my videos, man. There are some that were downright, you know, like, man, I'm going to die tomorrow looking like that, you know? And my face, I was pale. I was very bloated, you know, it wasn't a good thing. So this had to happen or I would just, it wouldn't be good. I, I'm going to end up in some kind of assisted living situation or a nursing home. You know, how many years can you abuse your body? You just can't. So thanks for watching folks. Happy trails.